Hi there, I'm Rick and this is Programmer Parent. Today I want to talk to you about intention and result. And when we talk about computer games, that's everything. When we talk about real life, that is too everything. What did you intend to accomplish? What did you intend to feel? And what happened? It's so important. And when we talk about computer games, it's so easy that we forget that because we follow the flow. We, we see there's an exclamation mark and we just run towards it without thinking, what do I want to get out of this? I also see it happening everywhere where people put up a photo of themselves, a selfie on a platform and the number of impressions, likes or reactions judges if it's a good one and you get self-doubt and then you remove it because it wasn't good enough and then you put it up again hoping to do better not realizing that what you're showing out in the world is a filtered version of yourself because you're applying all this kind of mechanical filters on this photo you don't look like that in real life and that's why i think it intention and results is so important that we can actually hold on to what did I intend to achieve and be kind to myself when I don't do that but also learn failure is good embrace learn experiment outside your comfort zone doing more things is good for us but we need to take notes so we're not co copying the same behavior for the same results. So we have to always go back to the intention we're working towards. What is my ambition here? What results am I seeking? And evaluate and once again, be kind to yourself. Don't compare to what others are achieving. Compare to yourself and compare to what you intended. Then, then check your notes to learn. How are you moving forwards towards serving those you want to serve? How are you measuring on whatever threshold that you're setting for yourself? In a kind, generous way, but stretch yourself, please. And what, how do we get this into computer games? Or perhaps even more importantly, if we have a child who's playing games, how can we get them to embrace this in the game so they level up there? but hopefully also embrace doing this in the real life world. And I think that starts with talking about those two words. But of course not saying like, well, well you intended this and what did you achieve? But embrace the positive. Help them see what did you intend to get done this session? Did they just sit down and play? Or did they actually have an intention of what they wanted to achieve? And help them and by praising if there's a connection between the result and the intention. So don't, don't go chasing the lost intention and don't go chasing the lost result. But actually embrace whenever you see that there was a connection between intention and result. What, what you put the flash on is so important. And the good thing is we can help them do this in their platform. The good thing is we can help them level up in the game. Even if it's such a small thing of becoming better at the toss to aim somewhere and doing that. Or if it's becoming better at a certain situation or becoming better at communicating in the game all of those things will be applicable in any work scenario where they have to interact with other people where they have to you know stretch what what they're capable of so don't worry that it's just inside the game if you help them see this if you help them embrace it starts with intention and I follow up on the results and then it's a rinse and repeat taking notes on my successes taking notes on my failures once again going back to that platform uploading a selfie and externally the likes determine if it's a good one it the intention should come from within why do I seek that approval 
what does that really mean? Am I building some sort of asset to myself by having X number of likes on a post or having a selfie with more numbers on it than another one? Probably that's not building an asset that's gonna last at all. So help me see from within. What are you seeking to learn from that behavior? Just like when they're playing games, what are you seeking to grow? Is it just fun or is there an ambition to take that to the next level? What would that next level be? Help them see that and you help them achieve excellence in all parts of life. But teach it once again from the positive aspect. Help them see whenever they connect and the more you help them see that, the better they will be to connect intention and the results and realizing it starts with in intention. If it, there's no intention, there's rarely growth. If there's no intention, it's hard to evaluate feedback. What is the purpose of this activity? What is the end result I want out of this activity? That's just my thoughts. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Bye-bye.